sorry I had to speak in Hindi language uh, because the majority of the people no understand. <coughs> in the Western civilization suddenly I find people have taken to a very licentious, vulgar, despicable life. I can't believe how can they be so stupid and evil. It seems they have no wisdom even to see that this is true. Thank God you have achieved this Self-realization, you got the light, you are so transformed, you look so beautiful. And that you have given up all those funny ideas of freedom. It's so clear cut. <coughs> this must be, I don't know what to say, that in those Western countries, to find out people who have such <coughs> wise understanding of your life and respect for your own community. As if suddenly you have come out of that darkness and have faith in the light of the deep. It's not possible that See the history of the Western countries, is they never had very great kings, you know. One king, one king in England killed seven wives, you know. If you, in India, if one wife was killed, he would have been killed first of all, before he killed the second one. <coughs> so one sees that despite all that kind of a history and that kind of a vulgarity that has been going on for days together, and now it is the worst after war. Suddenly you people have come up like lotuses and have made those countries so fragrant and so pretty. But now they are afraid because they believe in licentiousness, they believe in vulgarity, they think it is their freedom. So they do attack, but you are not to be bothered because you have achieved something that is real, that is for eternal life. They are supposed to be Christians, Jews and also Muslims then. Among all of them I am surprised to see how they were interpreted, these three great religions, <coughs> the most uh, contradictory. For Christ has said that if you make any sin with your eyes, commit some sins, then remove your eyes, yourself. If one hand does anything wrong, you cut that. I have never seen anybody without an eye or without a hand in the whole of this Christian kingdom, nowhere. They can cut others, but their own I've never seen. <laughs> it's very difficult to be a Christian actually, because this is an impossible situation. For that, we can say that it, this was for angels, must be for the fallen angels that you take out your eye and cut your And then Muhammad Sahib has said, he thought that why only the men are uh, handled by Christ. So he says, no, no, not that you cut it, but let others cut your hand and take the right. <coughs> and for women it is so that they should be buried in the Mother Earth halfway and should be stoned. Think of American women, what would have happened to them? So very difficult to follow Islam, of course. They were very great people, very pure, and they thought that this is the only way people can be taken pure. No? 
On the contrary, with all these things, compassion, they become extremely immoral. This suppression doesn't happen. And then also this, they call it one that is uh, Islamic laws, uh, Sharia, was actually given by Moses to Jews. You can find it out in the Bible. It was given by Moses to Jews and the Jews would not accept it because they were sensible to say, oh, we can't accept this, it was too much. So that was taken over by Muhammad Sahib, better put it for peace. But with all these doing, people become extremely immoral, extremely quarrelsome and go to the other side and such an imbalance is created. But after self-realization, the Sahaj culture is born within you. With this Sahaj culture, you come into balance. And people are surprised at the Western Sahaj yogis that, Mother, how have you made their eyes so pure? How can they get rid of these bad habits of looking at every woman or every man? What have you done to their eyes? How have they become so pure? It is the light of your own spirit which is shining through your eyes. It's very important. Again, I would say that the women in the West have to understand what is such, not dominating anyone. Here the women are dominated, not always, but to a great extent. And there what you find that women are dominated. Firstly they believe in divorce and they try to harass people with them. This domination maybe we can say comes from their upbringing. But Sahaja Yoga should change completely your ideas and there should be no domination but a complete understanding about which I have told you many a times and explained to you. Still I must say I am overwhelmed by the response And on behalf of the Divine Power, I would like to thank you very much. It's really a new race that has come, really. Somewhere somebody goes wrong or something happens to that. On the whole, it's such a beautiful race of people. I face them before me. Even in dreams, people could not have believed it. They don't yet believe. But it has happened. You must now have an enlightened faith, which we call as Sattva. With that enlightened faith, I'm sure you will adhere to the emancipation of human beings. It's your duty now. It is all given free, of course, Sahaja Yoga is free, you can have it free, don't have to pay anything, all right, but you have to give to others. That is very, it is free to you and you cannot keep it to yourself. If you keep it to yourself, you can never be happy. You can never be joyous. So you have to be absolutely collective. And then you will see how it works. <coughs> Very surprising in all the European countries, in America, South America, Australia, Japan, Hong Kong, Taiwan, Kuala Lumpur, everywhere 
I have seen people have become connected. And they told me, Mother, there is no greater joy than seeing people getting self-realization. That is the greatest joy for us. And this is what one has to have in your mind. Of course there are some people who start criticizing Sahaja Yoga, uh, why this, why that, all nonsense. But actually, if you see, everybody who is a deep Sahaja Yoga wants that Sahaja Yoga to spread in their own countries. And then to see that it is accepted all over the world. It is such a uh, wisdom which has come to them. Otherwise, one fellow told me, Mother, I was only worried about my own house, my family, motor car and this and that. Now for God not. Now I'm only worried how will I be able to give this joy to others. I cannot be happy alone. And that's what it has happened. And I'm very thankful to you for all of you who have come here all the way to celebrate my birthday. And this is just your love and affection for me. And I also love you very much.